Well, good morning again, everyone. It is, hang on, see what time it is. Takes a second for the bike to start up. It's 7.15 on a, I think it's Friday morning. And I'm just about to head out, head home from Einstein's. Had my morning coffee. I got here about 5 o'clock this morning. Those of you that uh, follow my motovlogs know that I like to, uh, I'm a kind of an early riser. I like to get up early, bring my computer up here and get some work done. I work on video scripts and other stuff. Emails, Facebook, all that stuff, YouTube. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, if you're passionate about motorcycles and you're in the right place. So please take a second, click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything. And don't forget to click that bell. That lets YouTube know you want to be notified when we come out with new videos. So it's a uh, pretty nice morning. Actually, good day for a ride. It's clear. We haven't had any rain in quite a while. And uh, it's been hot, but not uh, unbearably so, I wouldn't say. Not as hot as some places. You know, talking about Einsteins, I, have a, I get the sense that they're not doing very well. And... Um, I'm not sure if they're going to be around very long. Uh, I don't know if you know the history, but back when COVID started, um, however long that's been now, a year and a half ago, this Einstein's, and I think all of them around here, they pretty much, they didn't shut down. They stayed open, but you could only go through the drive through uh, you could go inside, but only if you picked up an order to go. So you weren't allowed to sit inside the restaurant. They basically shut down all their seating inside. And I think it really took a toll. They stayed that way for over a year. In fact, uh, it just hadn't been that long ago that uh, Einstein's reopened their dining room. Now, what happened, like in my case... Uh, I went there, I was going there every day, and Don and I would meet there on Sundays, have a bagel and coffee, and, you know, visit. But when they closed their dining room, what we did is we just walked right next door to uh, Awake, which is the restaurant right next door to Einstein's. They were open for business. And I think for maybe a few months, they did have a policy where you had to wear a mask when you walked in the restaurant, which made no sense. Because as soon as you sit down and start eating and drinking, you can take the mask off. We've talked about that before. So, but they, um, you know, they were open for business. You could sit in there. And... Uh, we kind of got in the habit of going to Awake because they have really good coffee, they have good food, and uh, have great service. And so, Don and I never really went back to Einstein's. We've been staying at Awake. Now, I'll go to Einstein's uh, by myself sometimes during the week, not as often as I used to. I used to go every day. Now I go maybe three or four times a week at the most. And... What happened is, like I say, you just kind of get out of the habit of going there. The reason I go to Einstein's is because they're open so early. They open at 5 o'clock in the morning during the week, and I get up early, and there's nowhere else open at 5. That's the only thing we don't like about Awake, is they don't open until 7. A couple of days a week, they'll open at 6.30, just for some special groups that come in there, but generally they open at seven o'clock and that's you know for don and i that's late so just curious if you have a business maybe a restaurant or some other business that you used to do uh, routine business with that because of this covid shutdown 
uh, you no longer do business with them or maybe they're out of business. Uh, we've lost several restaurants here uh, in Carrollton that just basically shut down and never came back. I mean, there have been some new places open up, but we lost some of our, uh, our older restaurants. So just curious to know. Now, when I talked earlier about how hot it was and that it hasn't been just oppressively hot, it is hot in the afternoons here. But I noticed something the other day. I was watching, uh, I don't even know what channel it was. It was a local station. And I didn't have the, I had the sound turned down on the television or I had it muted or something. All I could see was the visual. And they were showing a map of our local area. And I could see all these uh, temperature numbers on the screen and it was like 104 here, 105, 108, 107, 104. And I thought, what the hell? And I walked outside and I said, it's not that hot. I mean, it's hot, but it's not, it's not 105 degrees. And I realized what they're doing now, sneaky bastards, they're now showing this heat index, what they call this made-up term, which is, I guess, heat plus humidity or some other factors, but it's completely made up. And in my opinion, it's designed to make you think it's hotter than it really is. It's, it's uh, part of this global warming thing to make everybody think the Earth is getting hotter, which it may be, I don't know. But it's very deceptive when they put temperatures on a map to make you think it's 105 degrees outside when it's not. You know, we use Fahrenheit and Celsius to measure temperature. We don't use some made-up formula for a heat index or, it, or they'll say it feels like 105. What the hell does that mean? What, uh, what do you mean it feels like 105? What, I, don't even know, I don't even know. That doesn't even make sense. So anyway, I'm sure I'll get some repercussions on that. Um, anyway, I'm sure if they tax us enough, they can change the climate of the earth. So, I am uh, heading home. I'm working on a couple of new videos. I'm actually waiting on a new battery to come in for this motorcycle. You know, I've gone over three years without changing the battery. And that's pretty amazing for a battery to last that long. I'm actually pretty impressed. But I know I'm on borrowed time. Because these batteries, they just don't last that long. Now, I have been pretty, I have been pretty good about keeping it on a battery tender. If I don't ride for more than a few days, uh, I will stick it on the battery tender just to keep it uh, topped up. But uh, I am going to go ahead and replace the battery. And of course, I'll do a video on that. I've got another little accessory that I've got in yesterday that I'm going to be installing. I'll be doing a video on that. So there'll be some stuff coming up here in the near future. Probably not till next week. So I just uh, thought I'd have you join me on my ride home. Look at the traffic today. It's uh, much heavier. And I'm, I'm going over the speed limit. And as you can see, everybody's passing me. People ignore the speed limit now. Doesn't mean anything. So I'm just trying to stay in the flow of traffic and not put you know, not have too little distance between me and the guy in front of me and try to keep some distance between me and the guy behind me. So thanks for joining me today. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help my YouTube rankings, which I need all the help I can get. And I appreciate you joining me today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog. Remember, but ride safe.